It's not really a secret that the local fish store has struggled in this digital age. Many have come and many have gone. The ease of shopping and ordering whatever piece of equipment with just a few clicks seems to be the path of least resistance. And as the environment changes, just like our friends in the sea, those who adapt will survive. Hey Reef Builders, it's Remy and I am currently standing in what is going to be an expansion of one of my local fish stores here in the St. Louis area. I know, a local fish store that's expanding, it's kind of unheard of right now. Let's go over to the other side where there's tons of fish and tons of coral right now and meet the owner, Steve Babcock. Steve. Remy, what's shaking? How you doing, man? I'm here, brother. Store looks great. Uh, I was just over on the other side. We'll go We'll go take a look at that real quick uh, okay. in a little bit, but tell me about Corner Reef. I mean, I obviously know a ton about Corner Reef because this is my, my store. We started in, in Columbia, gosh, 2012. We've been here for right at five years, getting ready to knock a hole in the wall and roll the dice, get a little bigger. Do you feel yeah. good about it? You feel confident about that? Most of the time I feel good about it. It's, yeah. it's, I'm nervous. You know, if you look around the store, it's, it's, it's something we have to do. We're out of space. We can't keep like products together simply because we don't have the space to anymore. So sure. the, the growth will give us a chance to put more things at eye level, better present coral, fish, everything. It's, it's going to be an upgrade. So, yeah. so I think to take things to another level, we have to expand. One of the things that I've talked about before about your store is I feel like it's kind of like, it's kind of like an antique store a little bit because like you've got all these different tanks and you do, you buy a lot of tank breakdowns. So you never know what you're going to get whenever yeah. you come in here. So I'd love to get you from your perspective. What, what are some of the gems that are in these tanks right now that you like? Oh, it's funny because uh, people will come in, hang out for an hour and a half. And then the next day, they'll respond to a picture I posted and say, where was this? I was at your store for an hour and a half. You look past so many things because, frankly, uh, it's a hot mess. I mean, I <laughs> but mean, it's the best hot mess, Steve. You know, you look in here and you, you will, you know, I mean, on any given day, I look in the tank and I go, oh, I, I forgot about that candy corn, Favia. That thing's looking great, you know? Yeah. So there's stuff all over and it's hard to pinpoint. Let's focus on something real quick here. This interrupt this angel fish which is probably, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful fish in the store right now. Yeah, he's a boss. He went in that tank, white tail, yellow eye coal, started pounding on him, and he just flung him away, and he took over the tank. He, he runs the show, but he's, he doesn't beat on anybody, but he doesn't let me put A-cans in here. So, gotcha. he's what he is, he's, but he's beautiful, and uh, we've had him for, gosh, it's got to be over a year now. I mean, do you know that when you bring in something that's a little bit pricier, that it's going to... He's never going to sell. I look at it like he's never going to sell, he's a store pet, and if he sells, awesome. But if he doesn't, you know, it's fine. Think of it as a, it's an advertising budget. People come in just to see that fish. I, I come in you know, just to see that they, fish. And then they buy stuff, so <laughs> he's paid for himself. Would you ship it? <laughs> it depends, which is probably the statement I make the most. It would depend. I yeah. mean, it, it could, it, yeah. I was going to say, a lot of people yeah. come in. For the unicorn tank. Yeah, they like this fish. He's, he's, uh, let's see if he would get mad at me. He usually gets mad at me if I lean on the tank. If I lean on the tank or run the scraper, he'll, he'll get really upset. He does not <laughs> like the scraper and he doesn't like me, doesn't like me leaning. So sometimes you'll just be having a conversation just, with someone here and. I'll park like this and then he'll splash water on my neck. <laughs> but, but it usually doesn't happen if I'm talking about it. I'm one of my, Customers, Alan, shout out to Alan, brought this guy in that he grew from a tiny baby from my Columbia store. He brought him in a few years ago. He's curmudgeonous, <laughs> but he doesn't pick on other fish. I can put other fish in there. He doesn't care. Yeah. Just give him his, his meals every day. I think you guys are, are one of the biggest in SPS in a local fish store here in St. Louis. SPS, we go through trends. Right now, we've been on a... I'd say some of a downtrend, not as much demand for SPS, 
And and what's weird is everybody wants leathers these days. Yeah. I mean, everybody's into the, into the softies. And if you ask me 15 years ago when I was getting ready to start this, uh, what will you not bring in? I would have said leathers, puffers, and eels. And gosh, we sell we sell a lot of leathers, puffers, and eels. So yeah, I would have missed out on a stream. Let's go see. The, let's go check out your uh, your fish section. So these racks will be going away. These will probably stay for a while once we move. I see you've got an emperor for me. Um, I have a few. I have a baby <laughs> up here too. He's tiny. I can't wait till I have a tank that's big enough for an emperor again. That's my favorite, uh, yeah. my favorite fish. Yeah, and they're sure. just as pretty as an adult. That's, yeah. what's, that's what's neat. And they, they're totally different fish. What's your philosophy on, on bringing fish in? You seem to have a wide variety all the time. You know, have a Noah's Ark, have two of everything because you don't know what people are going to buy. And, and as much as I don't want something, somebody else does. So yeah, another we, thing I like is the invert rack over here. You've got a couple, you get this one over here yep. and then all these, which are basically filled with anything and everything when it comes to starfish and gobies and cleaner shrimp and, uh, you know, you name it, the small damsels, clownfish, you know, so many of our customers have small tanks. So the idea is give everybody nano options. And um, frankly, you know, it's fun. These guys, you don't see them as often. You don't see your harlequin shrimp all the time, but when they, when they pop up, it's fun when they make an appearance in the tank, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, I feel like this is one of those systems where you can just focus in on one section and there's so much life in each one of these little sections yeah. of uh, the invert tanks. Well, and if you look and you pick a tank and you stare at it for 10 minutes and then you come back 20 minutes later, it's a whole new environment. There's, yeah. there's stuff that you didn't see before in the yeah. same tank. So that's what's fun about it. What's your most popular invert right now? You know, we sell a lot of Harlequin shrimp. Um, we sell a ton of cleaner shrimp. You know, if fire shrimp weren't through the roof, we'd sell more of those. People love fire shrimp, but you know, they're, they're so expensive now. Uh, I did notice you had some decorators decorator crabs over here. Yeah, there's some the sponge end? decorators. Sponge and... Right down there. Yeah. Um, there's a few decorators. There's a lot of arrows. Arrows are big sellers too. And they're fun to watch when they eat bristle worms. So these are, you said you, these are all going away. Correct. It's going to be much different. It's going to be 96 by 30. This is 72 by, by 48. Yeah. So it's going to be a little different config and it's going to go against the wall, but it's going to be compartmentalized and uh, it'll make it a little easier. Right now, when we catch fish out of the system, it's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I can and, imagine. And, but the wrasses and the antheas do so well in our reef system, so we want to keep them in something like this. But the bigger tank is going to be compartmentalized. It'll be much easier to catch fish. Let's take a little venture over to the, uh, the new space. And let's go. And let's go. I know there's not much to look at over there right now, but it's always wow. fun to, to dream a little bit. So we've got the schematics here. <laughs> yes. I love spaces like this because I feel like it's, it's just possibility, right? There's, right. well, I, th I think for any, any reefer or any uh, business owner, you just, you it's exciting. It's, yeah. it's, it really is. We're going to stock more aquariums. So part of the plan was we need space to stock four to six bigger systems, something, you know, 75 gallons and up and a place to to stock and present the nanos. I mean, right now on that, on that side of the store, there are eight to 10 nanos in stock. You, you don't see them. Cause you walk in and you see, oh, there's four over there and you go in the back of the store and there's five back there. Back here's where you can kind of see, they taped it off, but it's been, it's been worn out, but there's gonna be an ADA ramp going here for, for those in wheelchairs. Um, so it'll, it'll you'll come through a hole in the wall right here, which is where the clownfish tank currently is. So that's going to move, obviously. Come through and there'll be a ramp that way and there'll be a step off of this way. Before the restroom will be where Live Rock goes. And this we'll kind of use as a staging area for tank builds. Because right now tank builds are by themselves are, we find a, we find a little area, we park the tank and we build it out. It's, it's tough. We're just, we're just out of space. So this will, this will help with, with tank build out, prep for installs. Yeah. Come back to a busy store here. So yeah. we'll let you, let you get back to your day and just wanted to say thanks for for taking us through and best of luck in the future. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, sir. When we walked back over to the retail side, the place was packed and Steve did what any small business owner does, got right back to work. 
Selfishly, I love that my local fish store is expanding. I hope that maybe it's a sign for a bright future. For those of us who are lucky enough to have a trustworthy local fish store, it's a place not only to support a small business owner and their family, but also be a part of a community. Thanks for coming along today. We've got a lot of exciting videos in the near future here. So if you could, please support the channel by liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification so you know whenever we post new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.